Hello guys, I am Shitanshu from Dream Abroad and this video is specifically about my experience of getting the COVID-19 testing done at the Delhi IGI airport. Now there are two options, RT-PCR and Rapid PCR. Both of them are accepted if you want to travel from India to Canada. Rapid PCR, you'll get the reports I think within one hour. They say that but you might get it in the next three, four hours. And in the case of uh, RT-PCR, you would get it in six to eight hours. That's what they have said. But it might take up to 10 hours generally to get the results. RT-PCR is for 500 rupees and rapid PCR is for 3900 rupees uh, because I was in Delhi so I had this liberty of uh, enough time so I got tested around 17 hours before my flight departure so I have been in India for a week now and uh, I obviously came from outside from the car so it was a different experience because they have a separate drive-through testing space for all those people who are driving through and then there is a separate space for all those people who are coming through maybe cabs or uh, maybe connecting flights and I'll show you both of them in this video. And guys, the third and last video from our travel to Canada along with our parents would be live this weekend. So if you haven't subscribed Dreamers Abroad, do subscribe this channel to check out the next vlog. So let me start with the drive through testing experience. So if you're able to reach the parking of T3 airport, then on the level 2, you'd be easily able to notice the direction boards for the RT-PCR test drive through that would help you easily reach the registration desk. So you can park your car there and towards the corner and next to the elevators, you'd find this registration desk where there are 5 to 6 people to assist you. We reached there around 8 am and at that time we were the only people around there so there was no waiting as such. Mind it, we have to book the slots online and over there they only need the passport and booking confirmation. Once the registration is complete, they come to your car to take the samples. The samples are taken both from the mouth and the nose and they were not very difficult to handle. Okay, before we talk about the other way of getting tested, let's quickly talk about how to get the reports of these tests. Okay, report has come. Then after that, mail will come. Mail will come. If it's negative, then you will be eligible to go inside. Inside, we will go to the flight gate. The flight gate number 617. You will be able to go inside. You will be able to see the report. वो पेपर दिखा के रिपोर्ट अंदर से मिल जाएगी अच्छा तो अभी जो आप मेल पे आएगी वो रिपोर्ट नहीं होगी वो मेल पे नहीं वो आप कंफर्मेशन होगी कि आप नेगेटिव आप अच्छा ओके और अंदर जाकर वो कहाँ से मिलेगा आप जैसे जब बात से गेट नंबर छः सात से इन करेंगे जब हमारे दो बंदे हैं वहाँ दो ब now to catch my flight, when I entered the airport, although there were separate counters to provide the hard copy of the reports, but people travelling to Canada were asked to collect it from different counters where I did not find anyone. While during the check-in, the crew accepted the soft copy which I was able to access online and hard copy was not that much required. Okay, now let's talk about all those people who reached there by cab, metro, or maybe connecting flights. So you see the road right there. You just have to use the escalators to reach the level two, where you would see many direction boards to help you reach the registration desk. Once you cross that closed bridge, you would be able to see a big area right at the center of the lobby occupied for the testing facility. Around 8.30 a.m. there was no line, but this was shot in November when there were no talks about the Omicron variant. Now as the rules are getting stricter, you might see a queue there. So I would advise you to reach there slightly earlier. You would need to get in the line here for the rapid PCR registration where I could notice many registration desks to speed up the process. Then next to those counters, there are two other counters for rapid PCR and RT-PCR sample collection. But all these facilities are for people who want to travel to countries 
other than Canada. If we have to travel to Canada, then on the other bridge where you can see a couple of escalators as well, there's a separate registration and testing facility so that you can get it done fast enough. As I got my testing done by the drive through testing, I can say it is very easy and convenient and also saves time. So anyone who can manage to reach there by car or maybe by cab which can be parked there, I would definitely recommend that option as not many people know about it. So I was told that it is always less crowded. So a very quick guide of how you can actually get your slot booked. Just go to Google and type New Delhi Airport COVID test. Click on the first link. It will ask you to select your travel type. You can select international departure. Here it would ask you for basic details like your name, email, phone number, the details of your Aadhaar card or passport number, the country you're traveling to and the type of test. If there are more than one people, then you can go on to fill the details of the other passengers as well. Of course, here you can select the date and time when you actually want to get tested and whatever you select, you'll get a booking confirmation over the mail something like this okay guys so i hope that this video would help your journey from india to canada slightly easier if you have anything to add or ask please comment below i regularly bring videos like these to help you immigrate and settle abroad so if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet do not forget to click the subscribe button as well